be working on your life book. What are you doing colouring in rivers? Using my imagination, Mike. That's what writers do. I've written about how upset my foster parents were when I made them bring me back. So I've drawn a picture of them crying a river of tears. More mm. like tears of happiness at getting shot of you. even colour in a puddle, let alone a river. Yeah, well, come on, come over here and help me tidy this lot away. I can't, I won't have enough time to finish this before the writer gets here. I suppose I better start at the top and work my way down then, had I? I don't know why you're bothering. I bet she won't even read it. Shows how much you know about writers. She can't do an article about this dump until she finds out about us lot first. I don't suppose you'd help me tidy up, would you? Sorry. Writing my life book. Oh, what with? Plum crush? <laughs> anyway, I've done the house tours today. Yeah, uh, this is extra. I promised Jenny that I'd help straighten the place out, you know, for the visitor. OK. Sorry, I was just checking. For five tapes of my choice from your CD collection and a late pass so I can see a movie with CJ. I thought you'd dumped him. Keep up. That was so last week. Right, listen. Three tapes, but no late pass. I'm sorry. No late pass, no deal. Sorry. Anybody want to help me bake a cake for the visitor? Cheek, never interrupt a writer in full flight. What sort of cake? I thought a sponge cake, maybe. Sponge? That's not interesting enough for someone posh like a writer. Sorry? Well, what do you suggest? How about fairy cakes? Because it's fair when you eat them. When you have one cake, someone always gets a bigger slice than you. So, fairy cake it is then. Tracy, are you going to help? Duke, I'm a writer, not a cook. Ask one of the less creative kids. That's good. And what I've written to go with it is so brilliant. The writer will want to do her whole article just about me. The minute my mum sees it, she'll come and get me straight away. They'll probably stick me on the front cover and everything. Even if my mum doesn't see it, tons of other people will. My story will be so sad and hopeful and all round utterly wonderful that it won't be long before somebody tells her about it. <laughs> Brilliant plan, Tracy. Good luck. I don't need luck. Thought any more about my late pass? Nope. Obviously don't need help then. Adele, wait! I still haven't done downstairs yet. I'll take the Sunset Grove Omnibus for you. Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes and a late pass. Two tapes, the Sunset Grove Omnibus and no late pass. Maxie! You said I could take the bar if I helped. Not till it's empty. But if it was empty, there would be nothing to lick. Tracy? Bog off with, I'm busy. I need some help. I've been trying to choose a photo of my nan. If you help me, I'll help you choose one of yours. She hasn't got any. I guess I have Justine Littlewood, but I don't take up valuable space with photos because I am a writer and writers write about all the totally brilliant outings they've been on with their mums. Yeah, making it up as you go along. No, I'm not! She always used to take me out. The last time we went to the fair, we liked the big wheel the best and she'd never say it was time to get off, ever. Sometimes it felt like we'd been going round for days. Yeah, me and my mum, we went everywhere together. You wish. 
Mike made everything dusty. It's got my hay fever going now. Let's have a look. What is going on in here? We've been making fairy cake. Yeah, yeah, but what with? A baseball bat? Come on, let's get you hose down. Hey? Nobody washes twice a day. Maxie, you have got so much cake mix on you. I can either wash you or bake you. Hmm? Come on. Oh! That's it. Every scrap of my life up to date. Now all I have to do is decide what to wear. What's wrong with that? Peter, it's really important what you look like when you're dealing with a writer. They're seriously glamorous people. Bet she'll have servants to do everything for her. I can't meet her wearing just any old thing. I've got to look exactly right, so she'll know I'm someone worth talking to. Oh, no! My beautiful clean bathroom! You monster! Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes, and a lift into town after the writer's gone. Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes, a lift into town after the writer's gone, and a late pass. Oh, come on, Adele. We both know you've had your late pass for this week. Well, it's a shame the one of us that needs help can't forget about it then. Oh, come on. The writer will be here soon. Can I come with you to meet her? No. You're gonna roast in there. So, I've got to make an effort. The writer will probably turn up looking like a film star. At least she'll remember my name. Don't touch my mum! I mean, she's not my mum, but it's not cheating. Because my mum and that model are practically twins. Now shift! Okay, I'm prepared to deal. Sunset omnibus, free tapes, a lift into town after the wire's gone. Too late. I dropped the late pass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jenny's dropped the cleaning. Oh, Adele, the writer's here. Lasso the herd and get them into the sitting room, will you please? Thank you. Oh, don't try and escape back inside. Hi, I'm Cam Lawson. Hello, Jenny Edwards. Do come in. Hope this won't take long. I'm not sure I can stand the excitement. Get away! Oh, Maxie, Justine was going to sit there. Off, please. Right, why don't we show Cam your life books? Adele, I couldn't find yours. Oh, it's in my room. I'll go and get it. Oi, who's putting my stuff? This is my granny. She is dead. And so's my mum. Their angel is in heaven now. <coughs> Oh, yeah, there's only one person missing, and when I get my hands on her, I'm going to kill her. Hello! At first, the crowd was stunned into silence as Tracy Beaker, the glamorous best selling writer, arrived to be interviewed by another famous best selling writer. Then they couldn't control themselves a moment longer and went absolutely wild. <laughs> no one told us there was going to be a freak show. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Justine, Louise. Tracy, apologise to Adele. What for? 
Even you can't deny using her makeup with that much evidence on your face. Tracy. Sorry. Sorry! You will be. Now, Tracy, come and meet Cam. Tracy's the girl I told you about who wants to become a writer. Tracy, a writer? Yeah, that's really gonna happen. Get that back! I'm Tracy Deeker with my incredible, heartrending stories. <laughs> Tragic! She's only cut out a picture from a magazine pretending it's her mum. <laughs> Oh, Maxie, I've had two already. You made them for you. Oh, all right then. I stuck the sweets on first. I licked them to make them extra grippy. <laughs> Maxie! Yeah, good idea. I tell you what, I reckon we should save this one for Tracy. Bug off, Jenny! I hate you! You knew how much I wanted to meet that writer. Tracy, it's and I hate fun. that Justine Littlewood. She all spoils everything. Tracy, it's me, Cam. I just wanted to tell you that I've looked through your life book. You've written some fantastic stuff. I adored the bit about your foster parents and the River of Tears. Showed a lot of imagination. Are you just saying that because you feel sorry for me? You better not, because I don't care. I know. No, you don't. I'm the one stuck in here, not you. I bet you're not even a proper writer. Writers don't bite their nails or wear tatty jeans. You look like a right loser, you do. Not rich and glamorous at all. That smart writers are really smart with posh hair and swanky clothes and loads of makeup and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. She likes you, Tracy Beaker. <laughs>